Hello, it's Larry Gaines from Options on the Open. We are the leaders in day trading and swing trading using options, and it's our goal to help you make consistent, impressive returns trading options every day. Well, we just uh, closed out September, and it was a stellar month, fantastic trading month for us, uh, using the Power Cycle day trading model and the Power Cycle trading model. So we have a formula that's really working nicely. And I just wanted to touch briefly and just show you, uh, you know, what uh, the month of September looked like us, and then show you a couple of the trades that we did uh, on Apple uh, during the month, which were really uh, uh, some really fantastic trades there. But just in summary, for September we had a total of 132 trades. These are all day trades. We had a cumulative uh, percent, uh, our cumulative return per contract of uh, $1,837. So if you traded one contract, you would have made. 1837 uh, that's for the whole cumulative uh, for the month um, the gross P&L cumulative was over 840 uh, percent the profit per trade was 6.39 percent and we had uh, the winning percentage uh, over 82 percent so uh, high reliability factor uh, we uh, uh, strive to keep our losses really small and uh, you know increase uh, our profits by having a high probability uh, trades that are winning. Uh, but uh, I wanted to show you some of the trades that we did uh, specifically on September the 26th uh, using the uh, day trading model to set the intraday trade bias. Uh, basically it uh, went uh, in the direction of going long for the uh, day on Apple. And in order to do that, since the volatility had uh, spiked so much, uh, instead of just buying calls, uh, ended up selling puts and just traded uh, in and out of uh, short puts all day. So I did a total of 10 trades on the 26th of September, uh, all selling different put uh, uh, puts. Uh, we did uh, actually one that was a call, sold the call at uh, 570, bought it back at 540, and then the other trades were all uh, by selling puts, going long Apple through uh, selling uh, puts versus buying the calls. And by doing this, we could take advantage of uh, uh, the volatility and collect some good premiums and just get in and out real quick. Out of these 10 trades, we only had one uh, that was a losing trade. And you can see the uh, profit uh, percentage. We had a cumulative profit of 126%, cumulative profit per trade of $325. Uh, so 90% uh, winners, 12.6% uh, per trade. So that was just uh, one day. I, sh I wanted to show you an example of some of the trades that we, we can uh, do at options on the open and I'll just show you the trades where uh, we got in and out of these trades just to give you an idea of that as well. So here's uh, the chart of Apple on uh, September 26. Uh, the first trade was this up green arrow uh, and this was a long trade by selling puts and um, you know this this is a, a pattern that we uh, do for the first three to four minutes of the day uh, and this one you got in on Apple right here in the first two minutes and, and captured the spike higher. Uh, the next trades were selling puts down here, selling the Apple puts and uh, covered them back here for a really nice profit. Uh, sold, sold puts again on Apple, covered it back here, bought them back at a nice return. Sold Apple puts here, bought them back and sold Apple puts here and bought them back again. So these are just uh, some of the trades and uh, you can see how the pattern using the price cycle trading model we tend to get pretty much the lows and, and the highs from uh, the buying low, selling high, buying low, selling high. So um, if you'd like to learn more about how we trade and uh, join us uh, in our virtual trading room come join us at optionsontheopen.com and learn uh, you know our powerful trading formula of the power cycle trading model which is a patent pending uh, price cycle model. So come, come join us and uh, thank you for your time and good luck trading.